Okay, so last week, I've touched upon how ear tips are an important part of your portable audio setup and how ear tips can definitely change the sound of your earphones. This week, join me as I cover some sick tip mods, which will hopefully further improve your tip rolling experience. All right, no more dilly dallying. Let's mod tips. So the first mod I want to show you is how to fit ear tips on smaller nozzles. Because you know, some IEMs have like these nozzles that are <clears throat> uh, boiling down. And then you have stuff with thinner, small nozzles that just can't work with normal ear tips. And okay, so for IEMs with bigger nozzles, you really can't do much with like ear tips with a smaller stem and thankfully not many IMs have like these comically large nozzles but for those ear tips that keep slipping off of an IM with a big nozzle but can actually be fitted on well you can just leave the tips on for a long enough time until it eventually fits note that this will permanently stretch the ear tips but hey at least at least it fits now, for IMs with small nozzles, I have two ways you can use ear tips with uh, bigger diameter stems on them. One way to do uh, this is to, you know, you take a piece of paper and then you just cut it out and you roll it up and uh, stick a piece of tape on it or something. Alternatively, you can take a bit of uh, sticky note paper you roll it up into like a tube and because it has an adhesive on it, it just sticks to it like that. And then you just cut it down to your preferred size and there you go, there's your little tube thingy. And then I'm using a KZZ1 as an example, uh, but you know, this one has a normal nozzle, but you know, it, as an example, yeah? You just stick the tube on it. It's a little janky for sure, but yeah, it makes me makes it easier for me to demonstrate this a little bit. So yeah, you have a bit of this uh, paper on. This will help for the ear tips to stick in. Let's say, for example, a small nozzle IM. This helps it stick in, and it won't slip off or fall out. There you go. Just that easy. But this method has a few weaknesses. It, it's hard to roll the paper to your preferred diameter and well, it, it's paper so it will crumble and it's generally not durable so it's like a temporary solution but you can't use it for too long. Now here's the solution to that. You take a spare ear tip, cut out the stem, put that on the IM with the small nozzle and now just put your preferred ear tip on and Voila! Here I have cut out the stem of a pair of generic Moondrop ear tips and used them as the core with which I can fit on, say, a pair of SpinFit CB145, as you can see here. And there you go! No need for like silicone adapters or anything, you can just take some bits of tips at home and fit the bigger stemmed ear tips on small nozzled IEMs, just like that. Okay. So next, I'm gonna show you a very simple and also very nifty mod. This was originally discovered by Slater on the Head5 forums and Hakuzen for perfecting this method. I will leave links to their posts if you want to see it. Uh, they called this the flip tips mod, but I tend to call it the inverted tips or the prolapsed ear tips mod. <laughs> Don't ask me where I know and why I use that word, just know that I use it, okay? Okay, so for the inverted tips trick, uh, essentially what you do is you take 
a screw or nail like so. You take your uh, KC Storeline with preferred tip, you fret it through the ear tip. Uh, remember to fret it from the back. Yeah? Fret tips through the back, and then you just sort of pull it through. You pull through the the, the screw, and it'll you can see like it it flips the uh, the nozzle a little bit, right? Uh, takes a couple of tries, but you just keep pulling the screw through until yeah. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera a lot, but you pull it through until eventually the tip is uh, inverted. Uh, definitely takes a few tries, but it is a pretty straightforward and simple method of doing it. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get it eventually. And yeah, there you go. Now you have this uh, inverted ear tip. You just fold the umbrella down and you have your inverted spin fit, uh, no, sorry, your inverted KZ Starline ear tip, as you can see. Oh, and uh, actually, probably you should go and wash the ear tips before you use it because you essentially just threaded a, a, a screw for it. So, yeah, for hygiene purposes, please. You can do this with your hands too, but it's super hard and tortuous. Just, just trust me, just find a screw and do it this way. It's, it's much easier. So compared to the normal KZ Starlines, you can see that the inverted version takes on a much different appearance. The material on the umbrella is glossy and smooth instead of the slight matte feeling of the normal umbrella. The shape of the nozzle is also different, with the standard Starlines having grooves on a sharp looking nozzle whilst the inverted nozzle is a lot more wide and tapered. It kind of looks like the nozzle of foam tips actually. The profile of the ear tip has also changed, from a standard uh, semi-oval shape to something more reminiscent of the Setna ear fit tips. And it has also gained some height compared to the normal KZ Starlines. From my experience, these tips reach into the ear a little deeper thanks to the added height and the soft surface also has a more pleasant feel in the ear than, say, a normal matte face. They work quite well for IMs with stubby or shorter nozzles such as the Blano 3, which require longer ear tips. And the KZ Starline is just one of the many ear tips you can do this mod to. Some easier than other, of course. Uh, usually, you're gonna want something with a slightly soft and flexible stem, but one that isn't so fragile that it'll tear from the stretching process that you will do. I've also had luck with some other ear tips, and they make them look quite similar to the Wizard ET100 ear tips, if you've known about that. Uh, so yeah, experiment with this and, and try inverting your ear tip library you might just discover a special form factor that will fit your ears much better than anything that you can find on the market. Okay, so these are actually a very universal and uh, well-known mod in the community, but I will, you know, present it here as well. If you haven't seen it, well, here, here it goes. If you remember, back in the old days, Sony included some ear tips with foam inside of them. Uh, they had like a... Uh, like uh, the first one had a softer foam, the second one was like a red foam thing that was so stiff it wasn't great, but you know, ear tips with foam inside of them. You may have also probably heard about or maybe even own some Symbio W ear tips. They are essentially a silicone ear tip with a foam core that is stuffed inside. Of course, uh, their foams are much more cleanly cut to fit their ear tips, but you could always DIY yourself a pair. Okay, so for the foams that I'll be using, I have uh, these orange earplugs, which are basically just a generic 3M earplug material. 
and I have also these, which are uh, here we go, Max Ultra Soft Foam Earplugs. Uh, you know, you can test it out with whatever you have locally as well. It doesn't have to necessarily be these two types. So basically what you do is you just like, you know, you cut the, the top bit of the earplug, cut it out, and uh, you use a hole punch to punch a hole into it. I recommend something with a uh, five to six millimeter diameter. And what you'll end up having is these uh, hold out, you know, foam donuts basically. And now you take your silicone ear tip, you flip the umbrella up, you insert the foam bit in, as you can see, push the umbrella down a little bit, and there you go. Foam filled ear tips. Some of the best combos that I've found are Moondrop generic silicones with the orange foams for that uh, Symbio W look, right? Or you can use Max Ultra Soft for, you guessed it, a softer and more malleable ear tip. You can also put these into spin fits, and they're also quite nice, increasing the bass a little. Though the spin fits uh, do kind of lose their spinning mechanism when you do this. Orthophon tips with the orange foamies are also a nice combination. Uh, I'm sorry if it's a little crooked because, well, I didn't aim the punch holes too right, too straight, but you know, it works fine. And of course, with the amount of ear tips and foam available, you can have a substantial myriad of foam ear tip combinations. So again, experiment with what you have lying around and find that perfect combination of ear tip and foam to maximize your tip rolling. Alright, so I have presented to you a few ways in which you can make your tip rolling even better with modifications to your ear tips which don't take much except you know whatever's lying around your house or perhaps a, a short trip to the convenience store and a few bucks worth of material. Hopefully you will have learned a little extra something new with regards to, I guess, your ear tips and how to modify them. Now that you are armed with the knowledge of how ear tips can change sound and how to mod them to your liking, I wish you a great time tip rolling and improving your listening experience even more. And yeah, I guess that's, yeah, that's the end of this video. As always, I'll leave the links to uh, the music I used in the description. Also, I'll leave links to Slater's and Hakusen's post about the, uh, uh, the, the flip tips method. Um, of course, uh, actually, you might want to check back with the document about how ear tips change sound. I will have updated them with a few more entries. Hopefully, there will be something that you would want in there. And as always, thank you to my tier 2 patrons. Uh, right now, it's 78 Dragon for supporting me. If you want to support my Patreon so I can get more gear into review, if you want to see more of these reviews, then that's where you can donate and support me. Thank you very much. Um, otherwise, if you like the video, like the video. If you want to see more of this, subscribe. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, or maybe there's a tip mod that I don't know about, by all means, please comment in uh, the comment section so that I may be aware of it and maybe share it to the community as well. Otherwise, um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. This is Lumerion, signing off.